You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Oh, George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. 
spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. was a bit rougher than I'd expected. We're close now, it's just ahead. Steady yourself! Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That portkey led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems... out of place. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. <laughs> that enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. 
Like the glow on the port key container. name Godric's heart where are we I don't believe it <laughs> hello the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Today. Bolt 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our Revelio. way out. Revelio, what do you mean to earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. 
But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again. That cold floor. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, that's where they're leading. Let's go again. Lumos, Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos.
what you're seeing. The glow that so... Oh! Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this lock. Of course, sir. Thank you. Phineas Nigellus. Professor Weasley! Ah, yeah. You come here. I'm looking forward to ex... And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Better be hop. It's quite uncommon. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but 
That seems more appropriate. Now, of I... course, sir. Thank you. Phineas Nigellus Black. Professor Weasley! Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preference... I'm looking... And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. You belong in Ravenclaw! It's quite uncommon for us. Looks like everyone's gone. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. She's all... It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all... Thank... Arthur's got you. You don't it's need right. to be frightened, little girl. Uh, I can't quite reach. Hope they can catch him. Big castle first. I'm sorry. No. For them outside the common room? Yeah. Good morning. Thank you, Professor, but 
What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps? This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like inside and outside of the castle. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. Oh. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I can't help it. That should be all. Fine. We did. Oh? The map. Levioso. Now, 
Let's try something a little large. Let us begin with the basic cast. <laughs> See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, it's your cast. Now, well done. Very good, but the best way to prep. Levioso, I know. This can't be your first duel. I put you on the spot. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Nice work. I've just. Um. Perhaps somewhere. Till next time. That is not bad. You are a swift. Huh. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now. Very good. Not to worry. That's it. Excellent control there. Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there certainly no. just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. You back for that. <laughs> Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. 
Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. That is how it's done. Making this easy for me, are you? Watch this. Good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to be... Of course, you can. A word, if you would. If you're so inclined. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? What about... Have you... I'd like... There you are. This is the right area. What about the flying pages? Revelio. Page must be around here somewhere. Brilliant. I trust the preliminary task. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. 
It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Prepare her. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Looking for me? Protego! I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better day in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Look! From the Forbidden Forest! Hippogriffs! I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy has already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right? Potato! Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys. Dougly and Aryan. 
<laughs> Terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A deppy, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... Oh. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty.
Are we going to win at all? Keep asking us, we have to wet the dam! Let me open. Was trying to beat him at his own game. Took him long him. enough. Zuma, we need to make sure he stays that way. Goodness. I will see what he wants. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Rebellion. Repair. -er. We were just talking about you. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. an extra I sell even more battle worthy items should you be you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your <laughs> assuming it is not too busy you might even meet Serona the owner she is a charming hostess and a powerful witch Good one to know. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. 